Hey, this is an example on how to do theme independent or dependent, depending on how you look at it, uh, icons. So if you have a dark theme in a Windows Phone app, you can have light icons, and if you have light or a light theme, you can have dark icons. So like the way we've got it here, we've got the dark theme and our icons here. And if we go to the light theme, we've got the dark icons. And this is an easy way to do it, so you don't actually have to do a whole lot of code for it. Um, first thing we need to do is make sure that we have a decent icon to use as our mask later. So this is what we've got, just a real simple kind of apple looking thing. And then we fire up our Visual Studio. I've got a theme ICO test. And I'm going to do Windows Phone 8, which means that I'm going to have to put the actual images from the application in a little bit later. Okay, once we've got it built here, uh, we just can add an icon or an image or however you'd like to do it. I'm going to do it with a button. Um, so on my button, I am going to make sure, first of all, that I don't have any content because I don't want content for the way that I'm doing this one. So there we go. We've got just a blank button now. Okay, on our button, what we need to do is search for the opacity mask. So here we go, opacity mask, we've got no brush currently, so we're going to set that to use an image, but first we also need to make sure that we have a good place to have our images. Oh, not exactly what I wanted, let's try this one more time. And I have a bad mouse today. Okay, so we're going to add an images folder. Okay, and once I've got that folder, I'm going to add an existing item which is going to be my icon wherever you may have saved yours okay I've got my apple.png okay and then I'm going to go back here to my button okay, and set my opacity mask to I'm going to set mine to the apple.png and I don't want it to stretch right now okay Alright, and as seems to be about typical, it likes to break everything. So let's go look at our button control here and see if anything sticks out as funny. Okay, oops, actually not what I was trying to do. Okay, that actually all looks about right. So, I'm going to get rid of my opacity mask by itself, and I'm going to go here to my background, and what I want to set it to is actually going to be to the brush resources, so that last icon on the right there, and I'm going to set that to phone contrast background brush, and there we go. Now we have an icon, and since we only have uh, the dark theme, as it stands right now, you're going to see it as white on the black for the dark background. And let's see, actually, there's probably a way to change it here, but I'm not aware of it right off the top of my head. So, um, I will show you the images shortly. Okay, so for the light theme, uh, we've got this app with a dark logo, and then here's the dark theme. Thanks all. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Should be pretty easy. Uh, any suggestions, questions, or ideas for future tutorials, leave it in the comments. Thanks.